my first part of my law degree before I went to jail. That's why now I've got to restart it all again. This is an actual law and it's fact. The police, any police officer or solicitor will tell you this. If you get burgled, right, don't attack the burglar downstairs. Try and get them to come upstairs. If you get them to come upstairs, they class your bedrooms as your most intimate and personal space area. Proper invasion. Yes. And you can give them the biggest fucking hiding of their life. And you cannot get done for it. But if you do them downstairs, that's when the law starts to change. That's when you've got to have a reasonable force with <laughs> oh. intent. If you get a burglar downstairs and whack him around the head with a frying pan, the more chances are is your ass that's up in the dock. I say, in a, in a place like this, my most intimate spot would be the bathroom. My most personal space would be the bathroom. Where you would be vulnerable, sitting on the yeah. toilet or something. Yes. So We that, don't, don't talk about that, though. No, 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 no. What I mean is, is that's where I would try and entice them to, to come. I would entice them because I have a lock that I press the thing on the, on the side of the door and it puts the bolt straight through the floor at the bottom and straight through the top. They wouldn't be able to kick the, that door in, inside or out. Okay. Wow. We have specialised doors on the bathroom that only the carers and myself or anyone of authority can actually access. You wouldn't be able to. I could actually lock you from either side of that door and you wouldn't be able to get out unless you smashed the window. But it's why? Not, because they're made specially. It's like a safe room. It's like a safe space. That was Panic the room. first place I go to. If anyone tried kicking in the door... That's the first place I go to. I press the button, ding, ding, and that's it. That door is locked down. That door is locked down. You won't even be able to boot that door in. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. That is yeah, what we call a good. safe room. I mean... It's a lock room. It's mm. like a lockdown room. The only yeah. way that that person can get into me is if they smash that window from the outside. But if you're inside there and you're locked up inside there, I can still get out. I can still unlock that door from either side because I have the access. They don't. A criminal doesn't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But if anyone tried to break into my house late in the middle of the night, the first thing I would do is not go to the phone or, or dial for emergencies. It's to run straight to the bathroom. Lock the door. Then you can make your call. You get the hell out of here. Boom, straight to the bathroom. This is what I'm trying okay. to say. Always go to your safe space or what they class as the vulnerable space. When, when I first um, started uh, listening to you talk, one of my favourite stories was that you, you had um, electric hedge trimmer behind your door. Oh, I showed that on live stream, the industrial trimmer. Oh, yeah. I've already told the old Bill down here, if I fucking anyone comes into my house, I chase after them up the fucking street with my fucking, whatever they want to call it, five-in-one fucking petrol strimmer tool. I've got no fucking qualm about doing it, neither.